so um it's day oh i don't know in homeschooling um the neck is finally starting to feel better but i am still having nerve issues in my hand so um today we didn't do much school we did some but um <laughs> in the last month so ever since we got back from vacation, Callan has been a monster when it comes to math. Um, he's gotten into math that's a little bit harder. He has to show his work, and he doesn't want to show his work. And that has caused some major battles between him and me. Um, on top of that, I think that he does not remember his addition and subtraction tables, so that's causing him some issues in the uh, realm of doing addition and subtraction, which is what he's been doing the past month. So I'm going to change direction and I am going to go back and do some addition and subtraction tables and see if I can get him to memorize more of those. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I've got to research that tonight. Other than that, he has finished first grade science, art, and history. So we're going to be starting that um, probably Thursday. Um, Monday we had kind of a short day, and today we had kind of a short day. And I'm stressing less about getting through the day and just getting some stuff done. Uh, so that's been a little challenging. And then on the home front, we have pretty much gotten the house to where we wanted it. Um, the last couple of things is the floor. And then we also need to find some way to have backup power. We lost power, I would say five or six times during the winter. And the longest time was 13 to 14 hours on the coldest night of the year. So we're just looking for a way to keep the heat on and the water, the well pump on and the fridge when our, um, Power goes out. We looked to get a new generator, and the cost of battery backups is cheap. Well, it's not cheaper, but it's about the same as a generator. Um, and then we wouldn't have to have an extra propane tank, which is good because it kind of makes me nervous to have a propane tank on site. Uh, we already have one. I didn't want two. Um, so we're also looking into solar because, believe it or not, Western Washington gets enough sun for solar, especially in the summertime, and that would save us some money um, on our power in the wintertime. We would get credits from the um, energy company for that. So we're looking for that, but that's a uh, kind of like a pet project. We don't really need it until the fall um, when the winds start picking up again. If, if it's the summer, if it happens in the summer, it's not so bad because it's not so cold. Uh, so what we're doing is on Friday, we have to take everything out of our office and they're going to put hardwood floor down in our office. Right now we have carpet. Uh, and we just feel like hardwood floor is better for the office. It's better for the chairs and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to do hardwood. And then on Friday, they're also going to be measuring us for new carpet because the carpet in our house even though it's maybe two years old, it looks like it's 20 years old and it's just kind of gross builder grade carpet with not a very good pad. So we are going to get a nice carpet that uh, is easy to clean if there's stains and feels better and doesn't look so run down and gross because pretty much everything in the house has um, was either upgraded when they built the house or it has been upgraded by us. So. After that, the after that and the whatever power backup we get, then the house is pretty much done. Um, the only other thing I would like to do is get a whole. This, we've got encroaching blackberry on both sides of our house, and especially on one side, I'd like to get it pulled out and so that we don't have all the blackberry and fix that. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I've also been busy doing a. Uh, writing a ghost sniffers novelization and uh, having some production meetings from some for some other projects and I need to record a couple of audiobooks this month. I recorded 15 traveling Texans so those will be coming out soon probably and then I um, have to write four 30 minute episodes of 
uh, Cassandra season two. And then I'm going to be writing 12 episodes of Two Chicks and a Frog season three. And then I have some more audiobooks to do. And so I've, I've got a pretty full calendar. Um, so I need to get Kellen to a point where we're not arguing over his math for two hours every day, or he's not taking two hours every day to do his math. Um, but overall, I think that we're going to be done with school for the year at the end of May. And then we will take uh, June, July, and August off. And then we will start back again in September. And um, we'll see. I mean, uh, I'm not going to let him stop learning over the summer. But it will be a little less like a full school day. Um, pretty much the only thing he's fighting me on right now is math. Sometimes writing. He doesn't like to write. But uh, math has been the sticking point lately because it's not easy. It doesn't come easy and he can't just fly through it, which uh, he wants to do. He wants to just fly through it and be done and do electronics. So that's been what's been going on since we've gotten back and Poppy is trying to eat my jacket. And so, anyway, that's what we've been doing. Talk to everybody later. Bye.